We're here with Joe Barnett, Executive Director of Virgin Money Giving. Joe, Virgin Money Giving is about to launch in June. Tell us about its services and what it aims to achieve. Okay, well, Virgin Money Giving is an online donation engine. Um, so the idea is it will help charities raise money online more cost effectively. Um, it'll be both where charities can go and set up their pages, tell people about their charities. So if you're a small charity, you can actually have a presence on the web. And if you're a larger charity, it's, another, it's, a, it's where you can just expand your reach. Um, it's also where donors can go to donate money to charities either directly or through fundraising, uh, fundraising pages. So if your friend sets up a fundraising page, they will email it out to you. They'll link to the charity and you can just click on and donate. In its launch material, Virgin Money Giving has focused on its low costs. I know you did conduct some research, but was cost really such a concern for charities, given that existing online fundraising services arguably offer pretty low rates for what they do? Do they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I think that the thing really is the charities told us three things. They told us we, we need to reduce the amount of money that is taken through the online donation engines in terms of the, the commission that they take. So, you know, we've looked at last year, 100 million went through last year on online donation engines, if it had come through us, an extra six million would have gone to charities. Uh, and charities work pretty hard to raise their money, so if more money can go to the cause it was intended, then that must be a good thing. They also told us they wanted really easy to use websites that had great functionality, that was easy both for the charities to set up their own pages and for the fundraisers to work with and to donors to go transact with. So ease of use was key. Um, and also the reporting and the management information. So a lot of charities, you know, obviously they want cheap prices, they want to be able to use it, but they also want to know what's happened. So, you know, the fact is we've spent a lot of time focusing on the reporting so that charities, whether you're an event manager or a finance director, um, you can set up your own report so that you can know what's been going on. You'll know which event worked for you. You'll know whether you spent your money in the best way. And that will all be really high quality, real time. Uh, and that's quite a key element as well. So can you explain your pricing model? Uh, our pricing model is to break even within the first five years. So we're not required to make a profit. We've set ourselves up as an independent company within the Virgin Group. And we have our own independent board of directors, some of whom are external non-execs, who, um, who will help us should we make any money. They will be the investment committee that decide whether it goes into uh, reinvesting in the product or reducing future fees. So our model is, our pricing model is based on the minimum you know, we think we can get charged to, um, to to produce the level of service that the charities want. So we could have cut the cost even further, but not have an operations centre, not have a call centre. But it's quite key to offer service as well. So 2% uh, is that, and that's just on the, um, the fee. That's just on the donation. We're charging nothing on the gift aid that was reclaimed for people. So where that compares with, you know, some of the other players in the market that, change, that charge, 5% on your donation and 5% on the gift aid. We're charging nothing on the gift aid and only 2% on the uh, donation. Okay. For all charities, I should stress. Yep. Yeah. And can you, do you have a sense of how much the online giving and fundraising market can expand, both in terms of numbers of inv individuals and, and charities taking part? I think it's huge. I mean, I think that, you know, it's 2% of donations at the moment, and yet it's the most efficient way to donate. You know, they don't have, charities don't have the administrative hassle claiming about the gift aid. Um, they don't have to have the infrastructure in place that we put in place for, uh, for encouraging people to donate um, and servicing that back office element. So um, there's that, plus the fact that the Virgin brand, I think, can bring an element of interest. And we've seen really positive consumer response to us coming into the market. And I think the confidence people have in the brand can only help. So where we say, see, at the moment it's 2%, I, I really would be uh, disappointed if we hadn't more than doubled that within the next year or two. Will the London Marathon be the main fundraising event for you, or will you be partnering with other big sporting events? Well, the original idea came from the Virgin, uh, the London Marathon, because that was just something that we got involved in and we saw the opportunity. We thought we could do this better. We definitely can bring our, our expertise in, in banking and things to bear uh, in terms of the money transactions. We started off with the marathon. The marathon is key to us, but by no means the only product. So um, the only event, sorry. So uh, we're tied up already with the Royal Parks Half Marathon and with the official online donation engine for those. And we're in conversations with lots of other events to be their online donation provider too. 
And what new tools or services will you be bringing to the market, to the online fundraising market? Well, we're starting off with uh, replicating what's there and doing it, we think, better. I think the main thing that we're doing that is some functionality within the site. So you can set up teams, um, you can set up groups of people. So if you're a corporate fundraiser, that's much easier to manage across, you know, whether you're a KPMG office in London or New York, those kind of things. Um, but then again, as I say, the reporting, at day one, reporting is the increased functionality and the increased visibility for the charities to see what's going on. Um, there was the failure of the virginlondonmarathon.com website earlier this week um, for when registrations opened for the 2010 marathon. Uh, do you think that caused any problems for Virgin Money Giving? Well, you know, it's like, do you call 25 times the level of demand as last year, you know, a failure? You know, it's an unprecedented demand for marathon places. I think that's amazing. You know, we've, had, we've already closed the ballot. 125,000 people have entered a ballot to run 26 miles. You know, I think it's phenomenal. Can you tell us where we can find out more about Virgin Money Giving? Yeah, the website at the moment is virginmoneygiving.com. You can go on and get a lot more information about uh, what were the products that we're launching and how it's going to work. Uh, and then obviously when we go live later in the summer, you'll be able to see the full website and transact and start online fundraising. Jay Barnett, thank you very much.